In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make unwanted items disappear from your footage. There are many removing tools in DaVinci Resolve, but unfortunately the best ones are available in studio version only. Nevertheless, in today's tutorial we are going to remove items from imported footage with a usage of simple removal techniques and with tools available in free version of DaVinci Resolve 17. Are you ready? Right, let's jump into edit page. Welcome to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you a really fast and easy way how to remove object in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. So there is uh, many ways to, to remove object in DaVinci Resolve. We have like in Studio 17, you can use uh, Patch Replacer, you can use uh, Cloning Tools, so you can use also with uh, paid versions of Studio 17 uh, object removal tool. You can go with clean plate uh, rotoscoping, you can go with uh, clean plate plus mask and a few more. So different things for different uh, projects and today I'm going to show you really uh, how to remove small items uh, from your footage. So let's get started. I already import this uh, video clip. So let's highlight this video clip, press Alt and copy uh, another video clip to video layer 2. So once you do this, let's go and jump into a color page. In color page, uh, we need to open first timeline that you're going to see. So timeline on the top. So you're going to see the timeline here. So next thing is let's open uh, also clips that you're going to see. So you, you have the upper one. So we can close this one. And let's open nodes as well. So we're going to use these nodes. So, uh, but first thing, uh, let's check if the uh, layer 2 uh, timeline is highlighted. Yes, it is. So let's jump into Windows and let's grab Pen Tool. And we see here that we have Toyota Ute that we would like to remove it from this scene. So we just want to uh, leave here Aston Martin. So let's go and zoom this in. Let's go to Toyota and let's uh, go with the Pen Tool and just Let's create a mask. Don't go too close. Don't go too far away. So let's do it like this. And we're going to close this. We're going to lift a little bit this one. And we're going to lower this one a little bit more. So one thing is we have to do mask first. So next step is right click and add alpha output. Just grab this uh, square here and go and connect with, with this blue dot. So next thing is uh, that we're going to invert this mask already. So you can see here, if you are if you can able to see that we have mask already here. So the mask is visible and Let's go to the next step. So let's highlight the first layer clip. We have it here. And we're going to do something really crazy. So let's go to sizing. Let's use pen first. And let's move this Toyota out of the screen. So you see that basically we have the, another clip underneath this clip. But we have to match somehow, somehow this uh, uh, background with uh, upper background. So let's start creating and we're going to lift first. So we're going to squeeze hard a little bit down. So we're going to uh, match this uh, layer back at the back. So something like this. And it looks better already. So one thing, let's zoom further in. Let's change the 
the color as well so we try to match the background something like this Something like that so let's go back to second clip so or the layer 2 clip go to window mask and let's change the feather so just a small amount not too much and also outside and let's go let's jump to uh, tracking tool and now we are prepared to track this mask here so let's press this track forward put your playhead before that uh, on the beginning and just press this one so you see that it stops in the middle so we're gonna change to frame and we go frame by frame just to move this one, this mask, out of screen. So we can go to the end and basically we have done this mask already. Let's jump to edit page and we're gonna watch what we have done. If there is any problem, we're gonna change it afterwards. Let's scrub this through. So you can see a small, small movement in the back, so somewhere here, really small. And we can change this with the, with a feather tool or uh, so in and out mask. So let's go back. Let's highlight this, the second clip, go to color page and let's zoom in and let's just drag this approximately here and let's go see what's happening with this mask. Yes, so let's decrease the inside more and let's decrease also the outside mask and let's go back to tracking tool just follow this and we're gonna move this mask more And that's it. Let's try it again. Much better. So we just have a slightly, so just this part here. But anyway, if you want to solve this easily, uh, highlight both of them, go to new compound clip, create one. So go to inspector and let's zoom in a little bit so this way this small correction or let's say the problem that we have before vanish easily so you can't see this correction anymore and that's it so if you have any questions regarding this effect or any other effect, just let me know down in comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Nice and easy as always. If you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to watch my other tutorials as well. Till next time, take care and have a good one.